Good morning, basket makers. How you doing? Hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, y'all. This is the store. All right. All right. So, let's talk about it. All right, y'all. This is me standing inside the store. And I just wanted to show y'all what the core foundation I'm working with as far as gifts and stuff as I'm starting to prepare for Valentine. We got the tree down, um, all the grid that holds the, those whole ribbon bowls, jewels, whatever it was. These are uh, the suitcase concepts. Um, what do you call them? Makeup cases and all of that. So, what I did was I just put them right here. Well, my son, one, somebody put them right here. One of my work was uh, some Put it right there. I went ahead. Once Christmas came down, I was trying to wait to put any bears to the front until after the first of the year. Today is the 30th. So, yeah haven't did it yet uh what we did was we went ahead and pulled what we did have onto the front um some of what we had for valentine onto the front and then we just made all the fronts look full because the men see yeah nothing has came there some backs have product on them you know for men that Miss Kathy, uh, she's been working hard, you know. So what we did was from the outside looking in, we made all the fronts look full. And then this one is empty. But what we did was I wanted the fronts to look full to the customers. So then that way it didn't look empty. But it's going to be some condensing. And stuff going on so i'm going back to the front so you can see this side now so what i'm trying to figure out going forward if i want to get me a couple more of these stands so i can have them on every end on both sides so i can really amplify my sales okay Another thing that's gonna happen on this side, all of this stuff that's on these grids, this is the kids grid and stuff like that. All of this y'all is gonna go on this one and we're gonna combine that. So basically all this stuff on this front is gonna go on that back. And I'm just gonna work with two grids for men. That's gonna now become kids, girl, boy, baby. And this also is going to move over into that department or it's going to go on some wall grids that we're uh, going to start getting together. Now, the reason is why we're going to do that, because we need this valley to become Valentine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, girl. Got a lot of stuff that she needs to get done. So over here, I'm okay with what we got. Uh, I'm gonna build on some things, like some more night shirts I'm gonna make. Um, I think I got some true Valentine, like it say, I love you, uh, robes from Victoria's Secret. I got about two of those, so I, I am gonna make those up. But otherwise, I'm okay with Victoria's Secret. The other thing, no, the other thing I do need to make, see, I got one Victoria's Secret blanket concept made, but I have probably about seven blankets at home that I need to get to. Um, so I most definitely will be doing them because I want them to get, uh, get used. And we're going to pull the ones that have the snowflake. At first, I wasn't going to pull them, y'all, because snowflakes to me is winter. It doesn't have Christmas trees on it. It has snowflakes. So to me, that's winter, not necessarily 
strictly Christmas, okay? We know snowfall, it doesn't have to be Christmas for snow to fall, right? So that's kind of how I look at it. But I still got three totes out of six, okay? The purple totes. Uh, I did three phenomenal women on the back of the Victoria's Secret tote with the travel mug, the gloves, and the body lotion. And then I did two with bath wraps. So those went over really good. Uh, we sold two, we sold one, so we good. The Those I made four in the red, so we got two left, and I made two in the black, and we got one left. So again, those, <coughs> excuse me y'all, those will get um, pulled, ready for Christmas next year. And then um, I will make up the, the other ones, the the Valentine, the two ones that say have hearts on them say Valentine. Okay. Um, we got the green robe. So what I, I know I'm gonna take this. I gotta take this out of the tin. But what I'm even thinking that I'm gonna do with the green, I probably pull this this green until <coughs> for next year. I mean for Mother's Day because it's this color. So it's perfect, perfect for mothers that color. But, and then again, it may just sit on the, on the uh, shelf, okay? So we have a couple of these things that's pulled up just to kind of start mixing in the bears with the everyday merchandise so customers can start getting the feel of Valentine. Okay, we have those I had as four i had six of them so we sold two and we got two of that and two of that y'all let me tell y'all about this beverage one your girl has been on the hunt i ain't hit about seven or eight freaking what was that walgreens looking for these freaking beverage warmers right because this is gonna be a concept on its own with these two pieces Yes, you see how they go perfectly with each other? Girl, I was on the hunt. Uh, I got two purple left, all the green of the weekend or so. I have some more, so I'm going to make up about two more, run four, and we shall see. Uh, what else? And then, y'all, y'all have seen that. Again, to me, frosted coconut is not necessary, even though it says snowball, it's not Christmas. I did, I did, or I did pull off the robes that had the vanilla bean Noel in it, but I'm going to switch that out because I got some green um, emerald, emerald something from Bath and Body Works that I'm going to replace that with once I actually stop moving long enough to get started again because there's a lot of moving parts going on right now to start getting me together okay okay so as y'all can see your girl and already started making up her inexpensive gifts um so these wouldn't be so empty i ain't even started y'all you know this stage so i can start seeing what i got what goes and what what fits you know in what so um I know where I'm moving as I'm out in these streets. Good morning. Good morning. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Okay, so that's the one that I was looking for one more because I had a customer who really wanted it out of the bag. Usually, y'all, I don't open bags only to put something in, never to take none. Now, I don't break up gifts, but they pay for a big gift for that to be uh, added into. So, you know your girl broke it down, okay? Okay. All right, what else? Um, uh, let's, as y'all see, the table. Okay, so I am pushed uh, this stuff out of the way because what we're about to do is this grid right here is, um, well, we finna, this grid is gonna stay up, but we finna put up grid all the way across between them two pink lines that way the nutcrackers back at y'all in the corner and then we're gonna do it all the way over here 
And the reason is, is we got rose bears that come. We have the galaxy bears that come. We have the bear in the bag. We have the bear in the box. So we need some, you know, upper space. Okay. Um, hopefully I'll be able to add another grid in. I know it's going to make it a little tight, but we got to do what we got to do. Okay. Okay. So, you know, even if I make it, hmm, I was going to say a rounder, but most definitely, like, let's say a lot of gifts like this size can go on, like, a little small three-way, uh, something like that. Uh, because a lot of this grid, thank you, is going to become, all of this is bears. Bears are coming. So, you already see those. Y'all know about the history of those. I got only one of them, four of them, and one unicorn. But I have 51, 26, 60, 80, 10, 16, 24 inch bears all on, on the way. So, because I have it on the way, we have to start preparing the floor some of the stuff that needs to go to the wall because right now even like some of these gifts y'all are going to go on this back wall and i think over in the corner or somewhere i'm gonna keep um let me show you this grid is gonna have like birthday cards baby shower cards um anniversary cards on that i'm gonna stick that back here for quick and then I'm sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy I'm sorry but um, this red is gonna become um, a Valentine bag so on the other two sides it's gonna be Valentine bag so it'll be turned around like that but I because I don't have a big demand right now for bags but when I do I, when someone need it because they you know, now ain't nobody else in here. I'm going to be the person going to be able to have gift bags for them. So for right now, I want to be able to offer it. I also have the balloons coming. And my balloon stands will be sitting here. We got, uh, excuse me, the Valentine, excuse me, the Valentine card displayers. They're going to be here. And that's, I have the jumbo cards, medium cards, musical cards, <laughs> all of that will go on that. That's why this space is kind of empty, and I can't put a lot there until I figure out. Um, once I get that in, then I can figure it out. This stuff is going to have to move because the girl going to have to tighten it up. So, you know what I'm saying? They can shop it maybe, you know. But this, I'm, oh, it's going to get filled. This space right here is going to get filled because I need, I need them to be able to shop what is it word nicely but i also need to be able to get the product out so they can see okay um my friend my son mates was saying like maybe we should do some grid over over the table i just told him i think that would be even though it's usable space the only thing i would feel like is is who's going to get it down now, on that stuff, yeah, but, like, because the table is also here, who's going to get it down? So, that's a thought. Now, I am thinking of taking one table and either breaking it down or, let me turn around, moving it to that back wall. Um, so, we can have, just in case we need a table for the bears. Good morning. I mean, not the bears for the fresh roses. So, one, it may, it may be both, but I am getting, I'm waiting on the tablecloths to come from Amazon. I ordered me two that are draped down and cover the mess. Um, I need to get anything else that I feel like, like these scarves and stuff that getting, didn't get done. I'm gonna pull those because I don't have to worry about them. I have about four, let me, I think I got about four scarf concepts already made up. Let me see. Still made up. One, two. Well, we got three. We got three. Three is not a bad number. 
okay? Yeah, three is not a bad number. Yeah, three is not a bad number. So, what I would like to do uh, is, um, yeah, three is not a bad number. So, I probably won't make any more scarves because the Chris, I mean, Valentine will be the last opportunity to sell scarves, but I ain't going to worry about it. Um, I got a couple hanging here. I might hang them here. And if they sell themselves, they don't, they don't. If somebody want to add it into some, I can do that. But I ain't going to stress it. You know what I'm saying? It's not at the top of the list. Um, what else, y'all? But yeah. These tens, y'all, let me tell you, get on out now because they're getting them out fresh. And just like me, I'm, I'm not saying I'm clearing shelves, but I need the large ones. So I'm getting six of all the large. And then what I do is I set up, as you see, staging to see how I want to run stuff. I also have to keep in mind that we're in January so everybody's not looking the people who still looking for a small inexpensive gift maybe for birthdays or something <clears throat> I gotta have them on the shelf as well so I did make up some more of those and then those will go over here on the checkout for like every day once I get the ones for Valentine. So just in case someone come in here and say, oh, well, I need a gift. You know, I'm looking for a gift. We have some gifts that are not made in a Valentine 10 or something that's saying Happy Valentine. So, uh, <coughs> excuse me. So then that way they can be able to purchase it. So we do have this pulled together. And then starting with what I would call like Valentine. I already got me some plush on the shelf. Y'all know I have plush in the store anyway. And then um, I picked up those. Um, I was just listening to LBE when I was coming into the mall. And she was talking about some stuff. <coughs> she had to go on and get at 50%. Me too. Because some stuff when I go, when I'm looking for it, it's gone. Uh, I, did, I had to do the same thing with some stuff from Walgreens, some stuff from CVS. Last year... When I eventually got out at seven, what I considered the 75%, none of the things that I needed was out there. So from CVS, let me show you right quick, y'all, what I'm talking about. These gifts right here. Now, they come like pre-wrapped. And um, it, up under that pre wrap. good morning. How y'all doing? That's good to hear. Let me know if y'all have any questions, okay? Okay, okay so this uh, compact charging station, the con uh, remote control caddies, armrest or, uh, organizer, this stuff ain't going to be there when you go look for it. So you want to make sure, especially if you make large men gifts, you want to make sure that you go ahead and at least pick you up your first six, if that's what you do, because, you know, I work in sixes. And then after that, go back out at 75% and then round up even more. Because I know I do Father's Day. Those are the kind of things that are perfect for uh, large mid-sized gifts or even medium-sized gifts that I can, you know, make. I have some more of those uh, <coughs> movie things so I can add them to that or just start a whole new con concept with that. These right here, these are just your regular, what I would call a home decor. I got flowers coming um, in a little um, base that's going to replace all of those because I'm going to take out the red that looks Christmassy. Now, these are the Follow Your Heart mugs that I'm going to do up in with that um, coffee warmer to get ready for that. This is those clean feet concepts that was already done. Uh, this is just some randomness, but this was another thing, y'all, that was there. So, 
you want to get your hand on a couple of those because that's perfect for a Valentine couple's gift or family gift. You know, we keep it family friendly over here. Um, I think that's it. Yes, ma'am. Uh huh. Okay. I had to come down here and see you. Oh, okay. <coughs> Mm-hmm. And what's your name? Um, Nicole. You'll probably see me. I'll probably even come in and they'll probably say Miss Shantae. Oh, Miss Shantae. Okay. Hair. This is my couple of blue hair. That <laughs> okay. Well, it's good to see it's you. So nice. Thank you. Yeah, I was just doing a video to show them what's left. Don't be just because some people and get this too. Yeah, I sold a lot. But you know, still when sometimes when people see still this much, it's oh well, you didn't sell out. No, and, it just looks that way because they're so big. Yeah. And I have to tell people when you go into Walmart, is everything sold out uh -huh. in every department? No. no. So you don't have that mindset, but I guess because I think retail uh -huh. is like that's how I work. That's how I operate y'all. How you like being up here? Okay. <laughs> you like that up here or down there? Lord, let me okay. Let me put it like this we did beat sales, uh -huh. but sometimes when you I feel like I maybe miss customers because they they're so used to sales. seeing me in the yeah. middle of the mall. Mm -hmm. So, but we did beat sales as long as we beat last year's sales, and the longer we're here, the more comfortable people know where we're at now. Because okay. I had a lot you of kind of do both and have like the kids downstairs. Uh, the I'm thinking room. about that, yeah. but it's just getting the help. It's okay. always getting help. It's okay. like we be needing in the store at least four to six people, especially the week of oh. Valentine. So I'm trying to see how I can spread it. Yeah. Because, you know, he did ask me that. I told him, you know, right now we beat the sales. It's good to be able to spread out. But I'm telling you, being in the middle of the mall sometimes, uh, you help, like, yeah. Because people just random see you mm -hmm. and they coming up just yeah. buying. Oh, I need probably, this. Yeah, some people probably like, I don't feel like going upstairs. Yeah. So just keep walking. You truly yeah. have people who only shop upstairs and you have people who only shop, shop downstairs. downstairs. Yep. And I'm one of the ones. I only shop upstairs. Yeah. Wow. Because the bath and body works up here, the Victoria's Secret, mm -hmm. everything, you know, usually they need. Because I, I was telling the lady, I've been in here about like 15, 20 years. She said, What? I ain't never seen you. I said, I'm a pop-up shop. I'm here every holiday except Easter. Yeah. She said, oh, my God. And she said, well, where you be? I said, downstairs. And she said, it's because I don't never go downstairs. Yeah. 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 So, it's, okay. you know. Okay, so you're getting yeah. ready to show some concepts for Valentine, right? Yeah. Look, I'm staging now, girl. <laughs> I'm staging now. And some of the big things is... <sighs> That's what I'm telling you. You got to get out, get at least your first six. Yeah. And then after that, you go back out and then you can, you know, pick up some more. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If you want to do more, especially if you do multiple holidays mm -hmm. like men, like I was just telling them at CVS, a lot of that stuff that I use, big pieces that I use for men gifts, this, I got to go out. Because last year, I waited, trying to wait to 75%. Wait, uh -huh. it, was it, was, it was nothing on them shelves. Yeah. So, I got out and got my six. Yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. As long as you get your six, you're Exactly. Good. I get my first six, I'm good, because they don't do right by me anyway up in here. Yeah, these look nice. These going to get gone. Thank you. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to add a bear into those. Right here? Mm-hmm. Just to fill in that little space right there. Would you do a big bear or a small bear? Maybe about a nine-inch. So, okay. it's like a medium-sized bear. Just some to kind of help fill that gap to make it look even fuller. Because I know I've seen some pink and white bears at Walmart. Probably like about, about like that. For like $2.97. Mm -hmm. but, That's uh, so good with this pink one. Yes. I, I was over at, uh, when I went over to Walmart, I was saying, oh, the, the colors is like mauves and blue. Mm -hmm. It's not everything just red, red, yeah. red. So it's going to be, it's going to be some be good stuff going on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm so proud of you. Like, thank you. I was I said, I forgot. It is her. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Doing yeah, good. yeah, I said, they probably said, like, look, here she go again. Yeah. Just uh -uh. stop. Uh -uh. You just keep stop. On. Don't get started again until it's time to make baskets. Uh -uh. You just keep on. <laughs> thank you. I've been for y'all videos. I've been like, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Is you going to be making? Huh? Are you making? Yeah, yeah okay. I'm going to try. I'm a newbie, I'm a, I'm a newbie, so I'd be like, okay, oh. Girl, you could do it. It'd be it. hard. 
It do, it do, because it, it's a lot of moving pieces yeah. that you can do it. And you gotta know how to shop. It's like you said, you have to mm-hmm. know how to shop. Yeah, but you learn that the longer you in this business, you learn that you start paying attention to the clearances, when the winter clearance start, when the summer clearance start, and it's a now it's so many people on YouTube who are already telling you. Yeah, I just go to YouTube and say, yep. okay, YouTube University. Exactly. <laughs> Let me know when the sale hit seventy five percent because I'm up at eight and I'm out the door. Yeah, because I can get in where I fit in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, it, and it's worth it. It is. You live in the area? Um, I live yeah, like around the corner. Okay. Myself, sometimes I be like over there, uh, flat shows or mm-hmm. something like that. But they always run you off. Yeah. Like you sitting on the street, oh, they gonna run you off. Yeah, you yeah. You have a license and a permit. Yeah. Go on down there to Cap County, girl, and get you that peddler's license. Once you get your peddler's okay, license, peddler license, yeah, okay. peddler's license, and then um, well, before you do that, first lock in with let's say a gas station. Okay. So ask them. Usually they charge now. They yeah. didn't used to charge. Back when I was on the Her corner. Knows, I was at one right down coming to the highway. You know, we paid the man and asked if it was okay. Code enforcement still told us we had to leave. But and see, he was upset. But if you had a peddler's license, that can't tell you to leave oh, because okay. you locking your license into that location. That location. And okay. that's the only place. It can't, it don't move with you. It's locked in right there. Oh, okay. And they can't tell you. Okay. Now, is, is that considered stone crest? Uh, uh. Because you no. know when they rezone. Yeah. I think, I think it's like from Evans Mill on back this way, it's like Stonecrest. If okay. I'm not okay. Okay. I'm to check into that. Cause yeah. I don't know if it's like from Farrington on back or if it's like from right here on back. Yeah. Check and see because another young lady I was talking to, she was telling me she went over there to uh, Stonecrest and they told them they don't do a uh, Pella's license. Oh. So they don't do it at all because they don't want anybody on the streets Mm. doing it. That's what she said. And she said, so, because they was doing the same thing to her, making Mm -hmm. her, you know, uh, what's my, I said, well, that's better than that ticket because I got a ticket back in the day for $500. Wow. And uh, I'm saying they put up signs everywhere saying no no solicitation or whatever, $1,500 fine. I said, Mm -hmm. yeah. I said, all these folks I see from Valentine's Day, boy, they're going to be hurt. Yeah, so go down there and go on and get in that, you know, go on and apply. Mm-hmm. As soon as January 1st hit, after that, go down there and apply for your peddler's license. But before you do that, you have to lock in the location because they have to have that that, that, okay. that address to be able to lock okay. it in. Okay, so I don't have to have no business up because I, I don't think I'm ready for that yet or whatever. Mm-hmm. Just, okay. You know, you just got to get your peddler. And an EIN number is free. Okay. You can call the state and get your own EIN number. That's what they're looking for. Okay. There's a business license is like coming into locations yeah, okay. like this. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. I, I You're be, welcome. I'll be coming by soon because I okay, have to well, come on. drop off so you can have. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> Look, girl, don't do that with my husband up here because he said, let's go get it. No more stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Um, clear. Clear. <laughs> clear. Everything up here. Clear. Clear. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, y'all. You too. Okay, y'all. So, as I was saying, trying to get this stuff uh, together. So we got a lot of stuff, y'all. We finished, what's the name? I took a little break. I didn't even take a personal break. I just took a break from recording because every day I've been out after Christmas, um, you know, pretty much picking up stuff to make sure that some of the key things that I need, I get so I can get this started because I can't wait till last minute. I even have starting Saturday, Sunday, Today is Saturday. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a helper come up. She's going to be helping me knock out these uh, 120 inexpensive gifts. And then to next weekend, I mean, well, I'm going to say Wednesday, let's say Thursday. Wednesday, between Wednesday and Thursday, y'all, it's only popping. Because the only reason I'm saying Wednesday or Thursday is because Tuesday, Walmart generally goes to 75%. The day after New Year's, they go to 75% on any last Christmas stuff they have. So this is going to be your opportunity to get out and get some of the 
chocolates because I promise you these are going to be going in my I have a 23 inch window bag coming in so I'm going to either be using it in in that or I'm going to be using them in this now you see this size bear I think this bear is like a 15 it got to be maybe between a 14 and a 15 but he don't feel that box well, I got some more coming, and I'm hoping that next size, y'all, is going to fill the box. Let me show you something else right quick. You see these? That was Walmart. I was willing, it's worth $2.50, because I needed to fill back up my toy section. I just got some more baskets. Um, um, I even picked up these, y'all, for a quick gift for somebody for a baby shower. But what I will be doing, it is so it's pretty. Plus, it's a plush bear, bib, hat, cuddly blanket. But what your girl is going to be doing, she's going to break that down and put that into a basket concept. So I can make it look like um, more. It is going to be more stuff in it. So probably some... Um, body wash maybe with two um some little more outfits because i think it got a onesie no it got a bib hat and a cuddly blanket so you need a little couple of outfits in there because we have had a couple of people coming in and um looking for baby shower gifts um i'm gonna be doing the diaper gift at least one of them uh, I won't say it's, it's going to be before Valentine. There's probably going to be some stuff I'll work on after Valentine unless someone come in requesting it. And then uh, I want to make a couple of the ones, the baby shower gifts that look like it's hanging on a rack, like the little in the crate. I'm going to do one for girl, one for boy. Diaper gift, one for boy, one for girl. Um, and something like that you know so i'm getting those ideas together so i can have some quick gifts for baby shower okay um i think oh just a fyi okay so i just showed y'all these right these make perfect valentine gifts so i'm looking for like uh like see with the batman right i'm looking you could take that stack that that becomes a, a tear, and then you can add in some sweet tarts, some little candy in the bag. Those make quick, inexpensive gifts. Bluey, um, I was looking for some more bluey stuff. Even some of these, like not the ones with the blankets, but most definitely like some of these, because that looked like when I thought I thought that was bluey, but they said that's not bluey. But anyway. Paw Patrol. I'm going to do some of the books with the little games. You know, you can build off your inventory. See, I got the Incredible Hulk. Um, I'm looking for some something else. They sell, period. But I'm looking for something else that will help me uh, pull it together. Like, see, this is the dinosaur. I can take the dinosaur here and put them two together and make a dinosaur um, kid basket. You know what I'm saying? So we'll be dropping them in cellos with some candy uh, to make it look valentine-ish. Uh, I think that's it, y'all. We had 33 minutes anyway. That's a long time. You know y'all don't stay to the end. But I thank you and I appreciate you. And I will see y'all in the next, okay? Happy New Year. If I don't get to um, do a short tomorrow or Monday to say that, but most definitely Happy New Year. That's also my husband's birthday. So we will be um, all doing something. I'm going to actually take that day off. I will have coverage at the store just to come in, open them, open and then leave. All right, y'all. Thank y'all. And shout out to Miss what she say, Stephanie, um, for stopping in to see your girl up here at Baskets More. We sure do appreciate you. Um, you got this. You can do this. Get out there. As Felicia, Miss Felicia always say, get out there, baby, and make your money and feel your bad. 
See y'all.